great win this past Saturday night at Fort Scott as the Coffeyville Red Ravens defeated the Fort Scott Greyhounds 71 to 42. What a football game. We had over uh, the two teams together had over a thousand yards in total offense. Most of ours was on the ground and most of theirs was in the air. So the football fans that love to watch lots of offense had the opportunity to see us about as much offense as you could possibly see in a ball game. Of course, the uh, game started at 7.30 and we ended up in this past 11 o'clock before the football game was over. We had a great crowd to follow us there. It seems like traditionally we always have a, a lot of Red Raven fans that uh, will make that travel over to Fort Scott. And we really appreciate the support. We sure need it this weekend out at Ice Athletic Field as we play for the conference championship against the Garden City Rockbusters. Mickey Lynch kicked off the first time and went out of bounds. Second time he kicked off. And we had pretty good coverage on this first uh, kickoff. The next one uh, went down the line and quite as good. A fine quarterback. I told people all around what a great quarterback he is. And he gets up underneath the center cone. And he ends up on fumbles his first play. He does not get the snap from center. And uh, we come up with the ball. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it was Clarence Robinson. A fine nose guard. And it came up with the football. So big zero is for the Ravens on the first play of the game. Uh, we have made up our mind uh, to just go run, line up and run straight at him. We felt like that we could certainly move the football on. Mason has a great read here. He picks up about 17 yards on the second play. I thought as well as Mason's been playing that, uh, that uh, they would try to stop him, but uh, they didn't. You'll see. Here's a pick out to Greg Irwin. And uh, Savannah did not get a block out in the corner, so we end up with uh, only about a couple yards on that play. Here we jump off sides, Kirk Clinton had a poor first half, and had uh, two or three motion penalties and clipping penalty. And, and uh, Kirk uh, had been sick last week and had to miss a couple days of practice, and has certainly shown uh, uh, in, uh, in this football game. Here's a sweep by Saran. They don't get a real good block in the corner. And, he makes a great run out of it for, and picks up about five or six yards to get down uh, close to that goal line. And then we give him the ball again. He hits off tackle. Picks up uh, a first and ten. And then we give the ball to him again. He picks up about two or three yards uh, just short of the goal line. Next play, Mike Mason uh, is going to call a leg back to that split side with that Tracy Scroggins in there. And, uh, Mike doesn't get all the way to the outside. He made it in school. And we finally, in a third down situation, final score on this next play. As it'll go to uh, Tracy Scroggins, number four, on the ground level. And shows the thrust in there. Offensive line coming off that ball. Jeffrey King, Mike Hall, uh, Darren Swenson, Mark Pitt, and uh, Mike Callis. Played another fine football game. They seem to get a little better uh, each week. Darren Swenson messed up his hand last Thursday in practice. And Ron Peterson never actually snapped the ball in a, in a college game. And uh, here uh, he uh, had to snap both on punts and extra points. They had a 15 yard reference pull in. Uh, that gave us an opportunity to take the ball in the end zone. First and ten for the Greyhounds on the 20 yard line. And Ron did a good job of coming in there and really didn't have enough time to practice and what it is that we really are going to have to work extra hard with Ron Peterson because he will be our center. Fort Scott had a lot of penalties. Uh, I noticed uh, in the film that they had done a lot of holding and some of it was called and some of it wasn't. And, uh, I call that to the attention of the officials and the officials uh, do a great job and they were looking for it and the first guy had to pay the consequences. Here's a pass across to uh, Eddie Brown, the great wide receiver. We felt like we had the right game plan. Uh, we worked hard last week and practiced with that game plan, but uh, we just didn't execute it. Uh, here's another big...